It was a busy day from jury instructions to opening statements and more. A small group of demonstrators, they gathered outside the courthouse. Fox 6's Aaron Mabin joins us live with that part of our coverage. Well, Ben, despite it being cold out today, people were outside the courthouse literally listening to this case from a speaker. They cared about what was going on inside of the courthouse from near to far. People care about this case. With chairs and a speaker outside the Kenosha County Courthouse, a handful of people tuned in to the homicide trial of Kyle Rittenhouse unfolding inside. From opening statements to the first witness, it's the second straight day demonstrators were drawn to the case. We're going to let them be individuals. Uh, we're going to let them be critical thinkers. Justin Blake is talking about the jury of 20 selected Monday night to hear the case. Blake is the uncle of Jacob Blake, who was shot by a Kenosha police officer in August 2020. It was at the unrest following the police shooting where Rittenhouse opened fire. Justin Blake believes the evidence that will lead the jury to a guilty verdict is clear. We're going to let them view the evidence that clearly shows that uh, Anthony Jojo had no weapon and that they were murdered in the streets of Kenosha. Prosecutors charged Rittenhouse with killing Anthony Huber and Joseph Rosenbaum. A third man was shot and wounded. Demonstrators listened as Rittenhouse's attorney told the jury his client acted in self-defense. The prosecution is challenging that. As a courtroom drama plays out, this group is watching closely. We're just sounding the call that everybody wake up, pay attention. This time is critical to our history. Also watching closely right now, the jury. I was just inside the courtroom, that jury of 20 people looking at the screens where all the evidence is being presented right now. Reporting live in Kenosha, Aaron Mabin, Fox 6 News. 12 will decide the case. Eight or alternates. Aaron Mabin, thank you.